Good afternoon YouTube and welcome back. Today we're going to be doing a chicken tikka masala. It's an Indian cuisine originated from Scotland. Chicken tikka or tikka stands for small chicken. Small cuts of chicken I should say. Let me get you down here so you can see what we're doing. Right, we're going to get the marinade ready for the chicken. Some natural yogurt. I don't do any measurements. We're going to use about half of that cup. Paprika. Three teaspoons. We get that red fruit. A nice bridge for the sauce. Ground cumin. Probably a good teaspoon. Salt. Garam masala. Cayenne pepper, like two teaspoons. We can actually get the way with all of this. Frick and let it marinate for about half hour, 40 minutes. So chicken's marinated. In the oven, we're going to get that cooked. Now we're about to do the sauce. I'll put you down here so you can see what's going on. Get the sauce made up, chicken in there. Okay, let's start making the sauce. <coughs> I've already done a bit of preparation. Uh, chopped the onion up, the tomato up. I'm sure you didn't want to see that. Uh, get that in there. The only reason I chopped the tomato up is you get that nice fresh flavour. Because there is a, there's a already chopped tomato in a can, you get that in there and it, it makes the sauce up. Never as nice as chopped tomatoes. So we'll start browning these uh, onions up. So now we've got these onions sauteed, a little bit of brownness on there, we'll get the tomatoes. Add 
the tomato sauce. I'm only feeding two people, so that should probably be enough. I'll simmer down for a minute. Just, I'm just going to add a little bit of water. Paprika, mainly for colour. About the same again, tablespoon. Cumin powder, same again, probably another tablespoon. Obviously, salt. Garam masala, tablespoon. <coughs> Cayenne pepper, and a little bit of heat. Ginger paste. Crushed garlic. Never have enough crushed garlic. Mix that in. We're going to let that simmer for 15-20 minutes while all the flavours get in there and I'll show you the next step. Right, we got the sauce heat up enough. Now the technique to this sauce is right here. If you need a blender, handheld or one that you have in the house. I'm going to blend all this up and actually turn it into a sauce.
Now we're going to sieve it right back into the same pan. This can be a little time consuming. Let's get all them chunks out. Mm, smells good. I'll use the biggest sieve right now. Let's we'll go with this. Look at that sauce now. Already. Give me last a little bit out of there. I've got three or four more of these to do, so once I've done it, we'll get right back on it. But as you can see, look at all the chunks that's left in there. You don't want that. <coughs> Chicken's all done, so we'll get that in there. Sauce is all pure. Beautiful, it smells handsome. I'm going to let this sit and simmer for about 40 minutes whilst the, uh, I'm going to get the rice on and breads. And then I'll uh, let you see the finishing touch. But trust me, you don't need to go to no fancy restaurant. I do it all at home, cheap enough. And taste just as good. Be right back. And there you have it folks, finish the touch. This to be proud of. You don't need to go out to a fancy restaurant to get the nice taste. That's as good as you'll get right there. And believe me, mm, tastes good. Beautiful. Well, hope you enjoyed, people. Uh, good old uh, homemade curry. If you if you enjoyed it, uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, and leave a comment. Thank you very much. Good night. God bless.